Hey guys, I'm Abhish and this is the part 11 of the Mern Stack ExpressJS tutorial. In the previous session, we have created routes and migrated the APIs from app.js file to specific route file. We have created a home.js under the routes folder and we migrated all our get, post, put and delete APIs to this home route folder. Please refer to the previous session before proceeding. In this session, we will understand the controllers in ExpressJS. Controllers are a set of functions that handle incoming HTTP requests and define the business logic for the application. Controllers help keep the code organized by separating the request handling logic from the routes and other parts of the application. Let's see a quick illustration of the ExpressJS framework diagram which shows you a high level outline of the controller. If you observe in this diagram, we have an HTTP request arriving to the route and the request is forwarded to the appropriate controller or a business logic controller which takes care of using the model data, connecting to the database and returning the response back to the client. Of course, there are some views which will get injected into the controllers. We'll be discussing about the views in the next set of sessions. For now, our focus will be on introducing new controllers through the routes. Let me switch back to the coding session and create the controller and get it going. Let me quickly add a folder and call this folder name as controllers and under this we'll create the home controller. So let me add another file called home.js. All of these controller methods will be exported back to the route and hence the keyword will be exports dot get and controllers will have request and response. So let's say once we create the exports dot get we are going to send the response similar to the route. So let me switch back to the home route copy this and paste it here directly to the controller. Now let's say if we want to get the data from a model through the database we are going to write that code here in the later stages. So let me add a to do saying that get the data from db. Let me correct the spelling. So for now we are just doing a response dot send here in this controller file. To make it faster I have created the other home controller methods. If you observe instead of simple get I have renamed it as get home data and we are doing a response dot send here directly from the controller. Similarly for the put operation I am using an update home data. However, we are yet to complete the updation to the DB and hence have added it under the to do list. And then we have add home data which will be invoked through the post operation and delete home data which will be invoked in the delete operation from the route. Now let me switch back to the route file and integrate this controller into the home.js file. Let's now create a reference to the controller here constant home controller since we have created a home controller equal to require is the statement that we need to use I would say dot dot slash and notice that we have a prompt to choose the controllers I have chosen the controllers slash and home. Now we just need to copy this controllers remove this request and response because controller will automatically take the request and response instead paste the home controller and say invoke the get home data method. Similarly for rest of the APIs I'm going to remove everything till here and instead we are going to add home controller dot notice that we have add home data and then we have home controller dot update home data for put operation and then home controller dot delete home data. Let's do the alignment and then that's it. The route file has become very simple right now since it has integrated the controller code. Now that we have defined the controllers and access the controllers in the route.js file, let me start the application by using node app.js. Application is running but before that let me go back and change this saying from controller so that we can distinguish this. So let me restart the application again. Application is restarted. I'll open my postman and invoke the API Look at that, we now have the response coming from the controller. That simple it is. I hope now you understand the controllers very well. In the next session, we will work with the models in the controller. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.